Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining. I'm Dave here at Electronic Music Collective. We are a premier music production, mixing, and DJ training facility located here in New York City and online. Uh, we put together a live stream gear checklist um, to make your intro into live streaming more seamless. And on our last show, we covered green screens. Definitely check our YouTube channel if you missed that one. Um, the next item uh, from our live stream checklist we're going to focus on today is about live stream and broadcast software. Software and gear links will be down below in the description. And just a quick disclaimer, this video and show is not being sponsored. Um, if you're new here, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. So now let's talk live stream and broadcast software. What exactly is it? Uh, when people say live stream and or broadcast software, they're actually referring to a software encoder. Um, encoders are a required component in live streaming. An encoder basically takes the audio, video, and the graphics you wish to stream out and turns them into data that can then be sent across the internet. From there, your encoded stream can get distributed to platforms like Twitch, uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, or any other social media destination. Now, there are two types of encoders, um, hardware and software. A hardware encoder is a piece of physical equipment that you'll need to hook up. Um, most hardware encoders, um, like these examples behind me, um, can start from around 600 bucks and can go into the thousands of dollars range. Um, so the hardware approach is not cheap. Um, they typically only do one thing, um, and that's to encode and stream out across the network uh, with very high reliability. Uh, because they only do one thing, hardware encoders don't get bogged down with, with other applications running in the background um, or have a, a CPU or, or GPU issues like a computer can. Um, they typically do not include multiple inputs or switching capabilities, and you'll need to attach video switching and mixing equipment um, or software to the encoder if you wish to use multiple cameras, graphics, etc. Uh, now, hardware encoders are definitely an option, uh, but we will just be covering software encoders today. Um, if interested, let us know, and we can always do a video on hardware encoders. So, what is a software encoder? A software encoder is a program that basically runs on your computer. Um, software encoders are by far the most common type of encoder. Um, the reason being um, is the cost. Um, some of the most popular software encoders out there are, are totally free. Um, each encoder is similar, but they have different functions and capabilities. Um, there are a range of different options out there and all at different price points. So, uh, how about we start with OBS? Open Broadcast Software, Broadcaster Software, or OBS, um, is a free and open source broadcast software. Um, not only is it free, but it does more than just encode. Um, OBS is a full multi-source switching system for video. Um, it allows you to set up multiple cameras, add graphics, audio, and everything you need to put out a professional looking live stream. On top of that, it encodes and streams your video, um, and it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, now, because it's open source, um, there are always new plugins being created and released for customization, uh, which adds extra features and functionality uh, to your production. Now, with it being open source, you unfortunately do not get any customer support. Um, it has no built-in presets, so you will need to search other videos uh, for the correct settings. Um, it's also difficult to navigate for streaming beginners, um, so searching how-to videos and forums uh, will be your that'll be your best friend uh, to kind of help get you started. A step above paid option that we would recommend uh, would be Wirecast by Telestream. Uh, Wirecast is a live video streaming production tool. Um, it allows users to create live broadcasts for the internet. Um, it offers a wide variety of production elements uh, such as graphics, titles, timers, uh, captions, overlays, and, and more. Um, it has PC and Mac compatibility. 
Um, it has live stream presets built in. Uh, just make sure to pick recommended uh, settings by uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, etc. Um, so you can create a professional live stream. Um, it also has multiple output sources. So you can live stream to multiple platforms at the same time. Um, if streaming to just one platform, you could still send a second stream as a backup stream. So now you're putting out two streams in case something happens to the other. Um, you also could send multiple outputs to local disk recording as well. Um, so you could record your live stream in high quality uh, for a backup or an archive and push out a lower quality or a specific settings video later to release on another platform. And it renders and saves on the fly. Um, you could do some of these things in OBS too, uh, but with nowhere near the same level of control um, as Wirecast. And Wirecast is much easier to set up and use than, than OBS. So let's talk about uh, the Wirecast pricing. Um, Wirecast Studio uh, goes for $599. Uh, Wirecast Pro goes for $799. Um, and they, Wirecast does offer a free trial. Um, and the trial is not limited. It's not time limited, but um, has an audio and video watermark. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, OBS and Wirecast are both good to stream with. And if using, you know, one camera source, uh, one mic source, um, et cetera, I mean, you should be okay. Uh, but once you start introducing, like, multiple cameras, um, multiple audio sources, uh, multiple guests, uh, multiple video <laughs> sources, um, then things can get more sticky and could start to fall apart because they are not efficient. Um, and if you're looking for more of a professional solution for streaming, uh, then vMix is a great option, uh, but it does come with a price tag. So what's vMix? Um, vMix is live production and streaming software. And if you're looking for more of a, a TV truck style quality, this is a possible solution for you. Um, it's packed full of features. Um, we won't be going over all of them, but one incredible feature is the ability to send links to your guests and easily add them into your production uh, for a live interview um, or even a podcast. Um, the built-in graphics and overlays are super professional. There's a slight learning curve, uh, but it's very stable and doesn't chew up a lot of CPU or GPU. Um, with full 4K output, uh, vMix is a step ahead of Wirecast when it comes to video quality. Um, we actually, as we speak, um, are streaming live right now using vMix and it delivers professional quality and turns my studio here into a, a full-on video recording studio, as you can see. So um, here are a few examples uh, of, of what you can do in vMix. So let's start off with um, showing you guys some lower thirds. So you can add a title to yourself and or your guest, um, you know, so your audience knows um, who the people are. It gives it a more professional look. Um, it can also show you a ticker uh, running across the bottom of the screen. You guys, can get, you can get creative with your messages in the ticker. Um, you know, add your social media platforms to it um, or even info on your new record that's coming out. Um, so that's, that's a powerful tool right there to, to get one of your messages across or some messages across um, ESPN style. Um, here's an example of, um, you know, just a running clock. And um, this is me being transported um, into a virtual studio set. Now, um, this does require a green screen but you literally um, could do talk shows, game shows, podcasts, et cetera, from virtual, virtual sets such as this. Um, guests could easily be inserted um, into, if we zoom back out again, um, you guys can see that um, there are flat screens located in the background on each side, and um, you could put guests inside of those, uh, those TV screens if you wanted to. Uh, we currently have our website on one side and our EMC banner on another side and just a, a adult video running in the backsplash. But, you know, you could even put um, one of your guests or a video running in the background for your production, too. 
Um, there's even a, um, an insert slot. Uh, we just have an image there directly in front of me um, that shows you, um, you can put another image in that as well, uh, just below me in the front there. So, um, so that's pretty cool, virtual sets. And that's just one template. There's a ton of templates in there um, that you can go with. Now, let's talk PIP for a second or um, picture in picture. Um, these we use often. Um, uh, so to keep your audience engaged um, so they can still see you, even though you might not be the main asset any longer, if speaking about you know, a particular subject that you want to highlight, um, you could be in the picture in picture, um, an image could be in the picture in picture, a video could be running in the picture in picture. Um, there's a ton of different things that you can do, um, but that is definitely an ill feature that, um, that we use often and we're actually using it <laughs> doing this show with you guys today. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's PIP. Um, here's an example of, um, and we actually showed it a little bit in that backsplash with the virtual set, but um, here's the infinite zoom video full screen. And I'm telling you like the sky is the limit with creativity and what you can output on the fly. So just depending on, um, what the uh, theme of your of your show is and, and, and what your uh, message that you're trying to get out um, you know infinite uh, zoom videos um, is an option that that you can go with as well so um, very cool um, now look, we're going to show you an example of just sending a video uh, to the output and um, this simply is just, you know, a record being played on a turntable. Um, but you saw how smooth that transition was. Um, so um, whatever videos you guys want to play, um, you can do so easily. Um, and also we can show you an example of a fade to black screen. A separate vMix session to a vmix session and two people could be controlling one production at the same time which is a really dope feature um, and we're just scraping the surface here as to um, uh, what these features are and um, and you definitely can cast these out um, to any stream so so you know vmix is pc only but uh, for mac users if you have enough ram and disk space um, you could do a boot camp partition for windows 10 to run on your mac so if interested and wanting to learn how to do something like that um, just let us know in the comments and we definitely could do a video on that um, with vmix you also can program something like the elgato stream deck now the elgato stream deck is is really dope um, they range from, you know, $79.99 uh, for the Mini up to $249.99 for the XL. Um, but it allows you to, you know, launch your cameras, your lower thirds, uh, your graphics, your slides, uh, a Be Right Back screen, um, your actual stream, um, a fade to black um, record. Um, you literally can just hit record and... Uh, you're not running and recording a video so um, the stream deck just makes it much easier efficient and quicker to pump out content so instead of just trying to go off of shortcut keys or whatever you can program the keys and the buttons on here which are LCD too and um, and get just super funky with it and um, the buttons are damn near infinite too because you can create folders and keep going after you've uh, chewed up through the, the amount of buttons that are on the face now. Um, create another folder and get a fresh set of buttons. So, Elgato Stream Deck, check it out. Um, let's talk about the, the pricing real quick for vMix. Um, so, prices can range anywhere from, you know, 60 bucks all the way up to 1200 but you can run a free 60 day trial with no watermark and have access to all of the pro features. So um, HD, uh, 4K and Pro, uh, they all allow inputs. So in addition to camera sources, uh, you can have multiple video inputs as well. Now, 
if you're just doing a one man show with with one camera and one mic, you probably only really need the HD version. But once you get more comfortable and um, you could always upgrade to 4K or to Pro, and you would only need to pay the difference. So here at EMC, we found that VMix is very consistent um, and it's reliable. So um, let let's show that infinite uh, zoom video. Yeah, I like that joint. So so you guys, in in conclusion, when debating uh, which type of software encoder you want to go with. Um, you still would need a good computer to run it on. Ideally, it should be a powerful computer, and for best performance, it should be a dedicated computer, and encoding is all it should really be doing. Um, so if you don't have an extra computer laying around, uh, you may need to purchase a new one or use another machine to put your encoding software on or just make sure that the machine that you do want to use has enough RAM and disk space on it. Um, live streaming can be very CPU and GPU intensive, and if using just one machine, uh, try not to do a lot of other things at the same time as your live stream. Um, close out windows and applications running in the background, especially the ones that you're not using. Um, definitely is going to make a difference. So try OBS for free. Um, try the Wirecast uh, free trial. Uh, try the 60-day vMix free trial. Make your decision. Um, there's other software encoder options out there, too that you could choose from but choosing the right encoder will help you deliver the best possible stream and prevent you from getting the least amount of headaches so this concludes our show for today again um, i'm dave here at emc um, and at emc we are a premier music production mixing and dj training facility located downtown here in new york city and online so whether you're new, just starting out, or you've got experience and just want to learn and sharpen your skills and, and techniques, uh, we currently are offering online classes and private lessons and can help get you to the next level. So please visit our website, electronicmusiccollective.com. Check us out on social media. And make sure to check out our future EMC shows that we do have coming up. Uh, thanks for joining us, and we will see you on the next episode.